So, it's me, your little boy, the Samson. You know, I have something authentic, unique for us chosen ones today. God is about to relocate you to another room. God is about to place you in another home. God is about to pick you out of that world, out of that group. God is about to take you to where many people won't be able to, to do or to follow you. So that is why you need to understand that there is a reason why you have a lot of strange word hating. There is a reason why you keep having a lot of haters around you. There is a mighty reason why they keep what is stalking you. There is a mighty reason why they keep hating you. There is a mighty reason why they keep monitoring you. Because they are monitoring you. Because they have received their life that God is about to pick you to another room entirely. It's about to take you and relocate you to a place that is better than where you are right now. God is about to make it happen that what they have been using to mock you, God is about to use it to bless you. That that which they have been using to laugh at you, make this of you, make mockery of you, God is about to turn it around. The Bible says, Ezekiel said, to the, Ezekiel said when the, the Lord take me to a place full of bone, and he asked me, can, can this bone live again? And I look around, and I, he remember, you know, within me, maybe he remember all the good deed that God had been doing, even before he was born. Then he said, yes, the bone will still rise again. That is why I'm here to tell you. They are jealous of you because they know that your struggle is about to end as a victory. They are jealous of you because they have fully come to realize that your pain is about to end up as a plenty word blessing. They are jealous of you because they have fully come to realize that God is about to do that which no man up there can do for you. And that is the reason why they are seriously upset with you. That is the reason why they are seriously so frustrated because God is about to do what no man up there can ever do for you. God is about to turn your life around. It's about to catapult you. It's about to change you. It's about to place you where many people will be watching you, but they won't be able to get to where you are. God is about to place you in that place where many people will be jealous of you, but they can feel it, but they can't receive it. <laughs> you know, that, that is why you need to understand that God is about to pick you out of that group, that hatred, out of that group where they keep malice, out of that group where every, everything concerning them, everything about them is just for jealousy and hatred. God is about to pick you out of that group. It's about to place you where many people will be wondering, how come you get to that place? How come you are able to get to this point? God is about to place you in that place where you yourself will be saying, ah, God have done a new thing. That when you look at your past, when you look at people who have been mocking, when you look at all sorts of things that they have tried to use to place you down, you look at it, you see, you will say within yourself, oh, what they meant for evil, God have done it for my good. That your story is about to turn for your own good. That when you, when you look around you, you say, ah, I thank God that all that they met to destroy me, all that they met to break me, all that they met to frustrate me, God has finally turned it for my good. All oh, glory be to God. Because they met it to destroy you, but God is about to relocate you. <laughs> God is about to pick you out of that group. God is about to pick you out of that word, that hatred. God is about to pick you out of that frustration. It's about to keep you where many will be like, how come you, you are there? Where many will be wondering, how come you get to this place without us? But say to them, it is God's will, and it is really marvelous in our sight. We don't deserve it, but yet we are there. We don't deserve it, but today, but yet we are what we are here. We don't deserve it, but yet we are rolling. We don't deserve it, but yet he do it. Because the thought of man can never be the thought of God. 
Yes, we don't deserve the blessing. We don't deserve the anointing. We don't deserve the favor. But yet God still do it. Why? Because the expectations of the sons of God will not be cut short. Yes, they hate us. They make mockery of us. They make Jesus of us. They mock at us. They leave us to die. But God decide not to allow us to end up the way they expect it. That is what I'm here to tell you. Many people may be having, having that thought. Let's see how you will be able to survive. Let's see how you'll be able to make it. Let's see how you'll be able to, to do it. But God is about to make it. God is about to let it happen. God is about to disappoint the devices. God is about to break out you out of that pain. God is about to turn the years which the kank and worms and, and caterpillar have destroyed. He's about to turn it around for your good. God is about to make you smile again. <laughs> that when you look at your past, when you remember your past, you say, Lord, I give you all my heart. I thank you for all you have done. I thank you for the for unmerited what unmerited favor, unmerited good head, unmerited blessing, unmerited location. That those who who mock at you will be like, ah, how come this is the finger of God? Remember, blessed me, God blessed you.